Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below, your purchase and pricing question line. To buy this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews, tmaso at thewatchbox.com, from you to me and my crew. And today we are discussing what might be my favorite modern Omega chronograph. This is the 2016 stainless steel 316-piece limited edition Omega Seamaster Bullhead Chronograph Rio, dedicated to that year's Rio de Janeiro Summer Olympics. Now this timepiece recalls the 1969 reference 146011, the original caliber 930 bullhead chronograph. There are some important differences, but in profile and even in size, the watches are very, very similar. 43 millimeters wide. The watch is also 43 millimeters tall, that is from top to bottom, or what I'd conventionally describe as lug to lug. It's 15.1 millimeters thick, although I'll demonstrate in a moment why that isn't the truest measure of its thickness. It actually varies a little bit. It does use conventional lug spacing of 22 millimeters, so while it appears to be some sort of proprietary junction, it's a simple spring bar. The watch is low enough to fit under a jacket cuff, but not most dress sleeves. However, the watch is exuberant. It has a joie de vivre about it and a handsome colorful persona, so you don't want to disappear this one underneath the cuff. Take a look real quick at the strap. It is a fascinating piece as it is rubberized leather. It's leather internally with blue rubber on the outside, and you can see Olympic colors. It has a contrasting stitch, four different colors, green, red, and then black, and we'll call that tangerine. The watch includes a Deployant clasp, stainless steel. You can see it's twin trigger release with a combination of satin and polish, and then a minderless system such that you tuck the excess length underneath and then two little lips override and hold the strap in place, with the result that there's no strap minder ex externally, nor is there any visible excess length visible externally, a feature I happen to like a great deal. If you're wondering about my wrist size, you saw it just a moment ago, it is 16 centimeters circumference. Now the watch is finished true to form and true to history. As you can see, there is a a satin finished radial brushing created with a lapping machine that emanates from an imaginary center point roughly at the cannon pinion over the hands. That's drawn straight from the 1969 original. You can see there's also a longitudinal satin finish on the case bands with a few polished highlights, polished bevels along the case back as well as along the lip of the bezel. I mentioned that the thickness of the watch isn't straightforward. It has an average thickness of 15.1, but you can see it actually is quite slender at one side and then at the crown end it's a little bit thicker. So it doesn't measure conventionally in terms of thickness. You could see the Omega crown polished on a anodized aluminum base on the crown. And the interesting thing about this crown is that it is a quarter turn release. It's a little bit like the Hublot uh, Big Bang Unico Ferrari, but you, you actually just turn it a quarter turn and it unlocks. And then you turn it a quarter turn and it locks again. So you actually find the little black index. And there it is. Then you just turn a quarter turn and the thing is locked. So it's not a conventional screw down crown. One quarter of a turn and you get 150 meter water resistance. The dial is capped by a box section sapphire which evokes the original plexiglass while maintaining scratch resistance. And you can see, as with the original, there is an internal rotating bezel that you can use as a secondary timing organ. And it is useful because the timepiece features a uh, easily read set of Olympic color calibrations. Now you can time two events concurrently, one with the chronograph and one with the bezel. As you can see, it is a colorful dial. It is white, not silver white, but true white with a broad array of colors and chronograph functions, as you'll note, registered in red. Also note that because the chronograph register only goes up to 30, you have that 60 minute timer. If you need to time something between 30 and 60 minutes, the bezel becomes quite handy. You'll note that the indices are applique rather than printed, a high grade dial. There is a faceted date window to ease by virtue of that stepped facet, the transition from the dial base down to the disc, and it is a bullhead style chronograph that's designed to be used like a stopwatch in the hand. You can see how in my hand, I'm able to more easily operate the chronograph functions, the start, the stop, and the reset. This is ideal for timing anything from the Olympic Games to your kid's junior your high track meet. Now underneath the case back we have, well first on the case back, the image of the Rio Olympics and it is quite attractive. You see individual numbering in the series of 316 and caliber 3113, 25 joules, automatic winding. It has a Frederic Piguet 1285 base, which is a high horology movement, and the finish grade because of that is to a higher degree than most Omega chronograph calibers, certainly more than the 9300 movements. And although 
The 9300 is considered the flagship. This one is chock a block with fine features. You have a beat rate of 28,800 vibrations per hour. You have hacking seconds, so you can pull the crown and stop the seconds. You have a quick set for the date. You have a free sprung architecture that makes the five position adjustment more resolute in the face of bumps and concussions. So that helps to maintain the timing of the watch if you're using it vigorously. Of course, it features a 52 hour power reserve. And in addition to the chronometer certification, it is a coaxial architecture, the Piguet being updated with Omega's signature direct and indirect impulse escapement, as developed by George Daniels in the 70s, implemented by Omega in 1999, and by now thoroughly perfected, providing short-term and long-term timing stability, as well as reduced maintenance requirements. This is a timepiece that puts it all together with character, color, history, and chronometric precision. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com to make it yours. The Seamaster Bullhead by Night. Note the loomed index on the internal rotating bezel.